गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम टू द क्लास ओके सो टुडे वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विथ द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट सो इन योर कॉपीज या वट एवर कंटेंट यू जस्ट राइट द टॉपिक दैट वी विल बी डूइंग यू हैव ब्रॉड बोथ स्पायरल एज वेल एज पेपर फाइन सो राइट नाउ यू यूज योर स्पायरल एंड नोट डाउन द टॉपिक्स विच वी विल बी डूइंग नाउ okay i am first reading so the title of the paper is governance constitution polity social justice and international relations i hope you are clear with all these terms you know governance constitution but do you know polity what does the term polity defines polity means simply you can consider it as a political system fine right? so we have to understand the functioning of indian political system fine right? so when we say studying indian political system it is not just we have to understand the constitutional features we also have to understand the dynamic aspect fine how constitution operates as such so in political science because there is a like this constitution or this particular paper or any paper is based on certain theories so in political science or in sociology there are methodologies that have developed fine so there is one methodology which is called as systems approach means we should be studying things from systems perspective fine so now what is this systems perspective system like if you talk about solar system so you have individual planets but these planets are operating in relation to each other fine so when you are studying things in a holistic manner then we call it as a systems approach means you also have to study the constitution but constitution is just a starting point the functioning of the constitution is impacted by multiple factors the social factors the economic factor for example when we will study federal system india's federal system is evolving in not just what is there in the constitution but the change in the economic policies are also impacting the change in the party system is also impacting so they want that you take a holistic view of the thing and in polity the first thing is we should be very clear with respect to the terms because constitution is as good as like a part of law fine so terminology has to be very clear so we will first start with the constitution the syllabus is constitution so the topic that we will cover you first right right constitution and under this the sub topics are historical underpinnings evolution of the constitution features of the constitution amendments significant provisions
एंड बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर तो ऑलवेज देयर विल बी वन क्वेश्चन एटलीस्ट इन मेन्स फ्रॉम हियर एंड एग्जैक्टली द सेम सिलेबस इज देयर इन पॉलिटिकल साइंस सो द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल साइंस यू ऑल्सो राइट दैट पार्ट ऑफ द सिलेबस टू फर्स्ट इज दिस इज गिवेन इन इंडियन सेक्शन पेपर बी टॉपिक टू मेकिंग ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन मेकिंग ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन legacies of british rule even if you are only gs student is still right fine legacies of british rule different social and political perspectives and topic 3 they have actually elaborated what is there in general studies the salient features of indian constitution preamble fundamental rights dpsps fundamental duties ye do alag se likhna hai jisko humko samajhna chahiye parliamentary system and amendment procedures aur uske baad hai judicial review and basic structure doctrine so exactly it is same so be, ju, uh, basic structure doctrine and judicial review ab ye sare topics are very overlapping when we will talk about fundamental rights these things are going to come fine so today we will first understand the theory of the constitution theek hai to topics ab pehle लेक्चर टॉपिक्स लिखो क्या हम पढ़ेंगे एंड वी शुड हैव क्लैरिटी ऑन दीज थिंग्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड थियरी ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इन द थियरी ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन we should understand what constitute ya how to define constitution so first of all definition of constitution then we will try to understand the purpose of the constitution what is the aim of constitutions fine what they seek to achieve then we will we need to understand types of constitutions then we will understand what are the general features of the constitutions globally normally constitutions have what features fine and then we will come to the specific features ya what are the special features of indian constitution what is uniqueness of indian constitution in terms of uniqueness we will try to understand the salient features of indian constitution now in the uniqueness of indian constitution there are some very basic things but two three things which needs to be understood properly and uh, that is first right 
इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अ लिविंग डॉक्यूमेंट नेक्स्ट ट्रांसफॉर्मेटिव कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनलिज्म then concept of constitutional morality we should have clarity on these there can be questions similar questions in your ethics paper also fine and when we will do many aspects of the constitution we will also see if some essay on these things come how can we elaborate on that fine so let us first start with the very concept what exactly is the constitution and what is the need of the constitution so constitution is something like the composition what all comes under for example we have a federal system we have a democracy we have a fundamental rights we have elaborate provisions on civil services also fine so what is the composition of the political system so basically we are studying not the constitution of human body or a composition of human body we are studying the composition of body politic political body we are studying composition of body politic ac nahi chal raha have you ever heard this term body politic so from now onwards body politic means a political body fine so political body is basically a state for a state you use the term body politic fine constitution composition you can study constitution or composition of a human body you can study constitution what structures are there what processes are there what elements are there in a human body similarly you can also study what structures what processes what elements are there along with a human body in a human body you have structures or organs you have processes organs are made up of elements what else constitute a human body or a human can i use the term human body and human personality interchangeably no you can't suppose let us use we are suppose we have to describe a human being how will you describe what all consist of a human being normally in interviews also they ask very first question introduce yourself fine so introduction of yours what all come under your introduction a physical part your height weight body whatever your background can come what else can come traits characteristics emotional or your we can say value system fine so your values your physical entity existence that is also part of your identity as well as your values 
what are your values your principles the ideas which take you forward you can if you use uh, indian word we can use sanskar word fine sanskar value system principles to constitutions represent it can be a constitution of your body it can be a constitution of the state also so we will study in the constitution of a state we have structures and how these structures are interacting with each other how judiciary interacts with parliament we have to understand that process as well as we have to understand the principles the guiding values fine so together they form a part of identity or the constitution so indian constitution we have two parts the philosophical parts as well as the structural parts to so philosophical part of indian constitution we include preamble we include fundamental rights directive principles as well as the structural part where you have a structure of government besides constitution also contains information about the union and its territory and its people you have a citizenship related provisions so citizenship thing or union and territory can you where will you put is it a structural part of the constitution or is it a philosophical part structural part it is not a philosophical part why can't you could have said it is none of these it is not a structural part fine it is a part of the physical identity you know the union you know the size of the territory you know the population fine so this is a physical element of the constitution or the state then there are structural elements and then there are philosophical elements fine are you getting it what i am so sometimes if if only two choices are given to you you can also think na none of the above or both why just because you didn't find anything philosophical your immediate reflex was it will be structural so don't have such a simplistic thinking fine these things you may do mistakes in prelims fine so let us start from the very basic we are going to study the constitution of indian state constitution you can write constitution of indian state okay now we should know what is a state how to define a state so first of all you write what is a state fine so everyone must be aware of one very simple definition even these type of questions they ask in prelims that what are the four essential features of the state fine so they have given population territory government and sovereignty but for confusion they have also given international recognition fine so there are different theories but the prominent theory is the theory that talks about the four elements of the state so we are going to study the constitution of indian state 
so first of all we have to understand what is a state and how should we be defining a state fine have you written this and have you written what is a state okay so what is a state just you can think about how to define a state how to understand indian state a state and government are they interlinked because government is a concrete is concrete manifestation of a state fine and government means what government has what you want to be in government what you will get when you will be in government power or authority power is not a right word authority fine so government has authority so why power is not a right word why authority is a right word and what is the difference you can write side by side just get a clarity of the concept so constitution of indian state we want to know so first of all let us be very clear what do you, how do we define a state fine so basically a state a state has a authority fine forget that so state equals to government government has an authority so what is a difference between power and authority means authority consists of power which ex who exercises power government plus legitimacy legitimacy who gives legitimacy people give legitimacy people give legitimacy it is also called as consent the exercise of power which people which enjoy the consent of the people fine where people have expressed their consent in the indian government or state ha huh? in the preamble fine we the people of india we have given this constitution to ourselves fine so state government means they exercise authority we have to understand the system of authority means which exercise of power has a legitimacy and which is exercise of power does not have a legitimacy fine so basically can we link state and power are you writing side by side you have written this thing ab aise question likho can we can we equate i am not talking technically i am just for understanding because i want that you reach to one point so can we equate a state with power okay so a state exercises power fine now tell me the exercise of power by the state does it limit freedom of man fine so a state a state represent power it represent law and law limits the liberty of 
फाइन आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो देयर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन इन फिल्म्स द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन लॉ एंड लिबर्टी इफ लॉ इज मोर लिबर्टी इज बाउंड टू डिक्रीज फाइन तो स्टेट हैज टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट एलिमेंट्स गवर्नमेंट इज देयर इन टर्म्स ऑफ ह्यूमन ह्यूमन इंटरफेस गवर्नमेंट इज देयर पीपुल इज देयर एंड गवर्नमेंट मे बी लिमिटिंग द लिबर्टी ऑफ द पीपल फाइन सो इज इट अ गुड थिंग और बैड थिंग बाय बैड थिंग यू शुड हैव कंप्लीट लिबर्टी टू डू नो यू शुड हैव लिमिटेड liberty everything there is a philosopher aristotle who says that moderation is the golden rule liberty in moderation that is why there is a reasonable restrictions fine so government limits liberty is liberty important fine why it is important why do you want liberty hmm? to protect the human values which value you can link how what human values do you know dignity equality fraternity liberty is liberty linked to dignity fine so why should a person be given liberty because the ultimate value is human dignity as a human being we deserve to be lived with dignity fine so some basic minimum respect we expect there should be some sense of self respect i should not be deprived from that basic minimum sense of self respect this is the very basic fundamental principle of the modern societies so we are talking about our constitution that is a modern constitution we are not talking about our old constitution what was our pre modern constitution our life in india was governed by the life will always be governed by the rules fine so before this constitution our life was governed by which rules monarchy no are what was the hindu code of law manu smriti theek hai so are we this is this place is same people are same but are we governed by the old constitution no but we are governed by the new constitution we are governed we are talking about the modern constitution the present constitution of india is about modern political system not the ancient or medieval political system is that clear modern so modern system of governance in india it is started when and by whom britishers have introduced modernity in india fine is our constitution a complete break from the past no it is not a break from the past it is primarily based on what government of india act 1935 so if we talk in terms of indian constitution was it a political was it a political revolution formation of the constitution was it a political revolution or it was a evolution it was a evolution not to our constitution is a revolutionary document or a conservative document conservative document 
and we have conserved lot many practices, principles, laws, etc. of the British state in India. Now, the British state in India, was it a constitutional state? Britishers had a constitution. What was the constitution by which we were governed before independence? British. But what was that? Government of India Act 1935. We were governed by that. And once constitution came into force, we are governed by the new constitution. So, as far as the system of government, do you find a very big change? No. It is almost similar if you talk in terms of emergency, you talk about ordinance, fine. You talk about center and state relations, you talk about preventive detention laws. So, it is more of a conservative constitution. But is it exactly the same? Does it deviate from the British system? Yes, because Britishers have given us accountable government. No. Fine. Britishers have given us fundamental rights. No. So, there are many ways the constitution makes a change also. So, suppose a cop this, cost, uh, this co question come, Indian constitution a document reflecting the continuity and change. Do you have an idea? You have an idea. So, you note down this. You, are you having your diaries also? No. Please bring the diaries. And in the diary, every day you will write the concept that has been discussed, what you have not understood, what you want to be clarified. And in the diary, you note down this particular question. Note down this question. Indian constitution reflects, reflects the element of Continuity and change. Continuity and change and when you go home and you have to simply collect the arguments. Where is a continuity and where is a change? There is no, no need that you write in a paragraph or anything. Just think about it. Fine. So, let me come back to my basic idea that ultimately a state exercises power fine and that is why constitutions abhi likho ne just know constitutions are also known as power maps fine they explain how power is exercised in the society legitimately fine so understanding power is very important now you write one question what is power what is power so you must be knowing you are trying to be in power why why do you want to be in power and what is power simple thing is what why do you want power what power will give to you so you want to be in power what power why do you want power is power a means or power is an end end <laughs> means hai. power is a means you want to join the administrative structure because you want power or authority. For what? What? To bring equality in the society. Why do you want to bring equality? 
you have to be ready with because you should not go blank fine suppose in interview someone is in conversation you should show you have thought on every aspect so you want power because you want equality everyone want power to bring equality no you want power for what huh you want power for recognition what recognition will give to you happiness fine whatever so basically you can always say why do you want it to go in power why do you want an authority because you have a particular vision about how indian society should be if you are going for public services you need a power to implement those visions fine so there is a vision you require power and it gives you a sense of happiness when you will be in a position to see your ideas having an opportunity to take shape fine so you have a vision why do you want a power you want you do you have a vision aisa hona chahiye when you see the how offices work when you see the infrastructure don't you get this feeling that no this is not the right way you have your vision for example for development of infrastructure in india you have your vision but can you implement that vision no until and unless you are in position of power fine so you need a vision and uh, that is very important for your self actualization for happiness will it not give you happiness fine so power is a means that gives you an ability to do what you want fine and power can simply be defined as a means or a resource to get things done by the others whether willingly or unwillingly theek okay, hai let let us keep it very simple what is power state represent power state can compel you or state can you can willingly also follow the state so state has a power and my question is how to define power the simplistic meaning you just write power is a ability to get things done by the others willingly or unwillingly इनको जगा दो इनको क्या हुआ है आर यू ओके वाई आर यू स्लीपिंग गो एंड वॉश योर फेस आर यू क्लियर विथ पावर स्टेट हैज अ पावर पावर इज अ कैपेसिटी टू गेट द थिंग्स डन फ्रॉम द पीपल विलिंगली एंड अनविलिंगली फाइन सो इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग बट सम वन फोर्सेस then you can be coerced to do the things unwillingly that can be done by force and willingly when power is exercised willingly what is that what is a word for it that soft power consent jahan pe aapne likha hai willingly and unwillingly unwillingly underline karo arrow karke likho power of coercion ठीक है एंड विलिंगली यू कैन राइट सॉफ्ट पावर कोर्जन कोर्स करना किसी को यू कैन यूज द टर्म सॉफ्ट पावर सॉरी सॉफ्ट पावर एंड अदर टर्म इज हेजेमेनी 
हैजेमेनी टर्म भी यूज करते हैं हैजेमेनी का मतलब जिसमें कंसेंट होता है तो उसको हैजेमेनी बोलते हैं या को ऑप्शन एक और टर्म है को ऑप्शन यू आर को ऑप्टेड इन द सिस्टम फाइन को ऑप्शन मींस विलिंगली और बाय कोर्जन यू बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ द सिस्टम इज दिस पॉइंट क्लियर फाइन सो लेट अस टॉक अबाउट ए स्टेट a state has power and a state has two types of powers one is power of coercion and another is power of co-option co-option means willingly you become a part of that system is that clear fine now स्टेट बिफोर द प्रेजेंट स्टेट वी हैड अ ब्रिटिश स्टेट फाइन सो ब्रिटिश स्टेट इन इंडिया वॉज रूलिंग ओनली बाई कोर्जन नो दे वे आर ऑल्सो रूलिंग बाई को ऑप्शन देयर वॉज अ विलिंगनेस इन इंडिया टू बी अंडर द रूल ऑफ द ब्रिटिश वी वॉन्टेड to be like british we considered the british rule as a blessing in disguise fine and what all things have given this power of attraction their way of life uh, their system of education their system of law there are many good things they have done coercion you were getting when you are co-opted you get a feel good factor you do the things willingly so presently we have indian state that time it was a british state fine and state means power power means ability to get things done by the others willingly or unwillingly now tell me before independence only british state was a state in india landlords landlords to british system ka hi part the princely states bhi british system ka hi part the was now tell me ek kya likha hai tumne ye dono likha ab ek question likho लिखो राइट वेदर बिफोर इंडिपेंडेंस ओनली ब्रिटिश स्टेट वॉज अ स्टेट और वेदर देयर वॉज अ स्टेट which was invisible yet more powerful and this word you write entrenched more powerful and entrenched shrape so right one thing right more coercive more coercive and having more power to get people co-opted क्या तुमने बड़ी आसानी से कह दिया ब्रिटिश स्टेट स्टेट क्यों क्योंकि वो विजिबल थी कि क्या कोई इनविजिबल स्टेट थी इंडिया में यस yes. ठीक है तो ब्रिटिश स्टेट तो कुछ भी नहीं थी ब्रिटिश स्टेट वाज नॉट कंट्रोलिंग आवर लाइफ टू द एक्सटेंट 
that there were invisible states which were controlling the life and that invisible state was having both the elements the soft power element as well as the coercive element okay so what was that invisible state fine aise likho what was that invisible state you can simply write caste caste theek hai to caste system was well entrenched much more pervasive our life was regulated by it fine that was a invisible state which was in a way more against or more demeaning to the dignity human dignity then the british state what british state was doing theek hai which was a bigger enemy caste was also a bigger enemy so there were two states fine now the hindu society was primarily governed by caste but there were other societies also muslim societies tribal and other means we can use for the time being caste religion religious laws ethnicities ethnic for example still there are so many restrictions on the women in naga society fine so these were also the states so people in india had to be liberated not just from the alien state they also had to be liberated from the domestic structures which were more entrenched which were ruling by both the means fine they were ruling by co-option majority of people was a member of this state also because of co-option plus they were also ruling by coercion caste in india had a element of coercion fine they they could have outcasted people there used to be honor killings things so what is unique in indian constitution the unique in indian constitution is or when indian constitution was made normally there is one word which is very commonly used these days transformative constitutionalism and judiciary also uses this word in number of its judgments for example in navtesh singh johar case or in sabri mala case or in triple talaq case transformative constitutionalism fine so our objective has been transformation transformation not just of the political system political system in india needed less transformation then the social system fine so indian constitution is not just about the vertical distribution of power we are not just talking about vertical how to equalize the vertical distribution of power but also the horizontal distribution of power fine so indian constitution other constitutions they give you rights against the government but indian constitution 
give you horizontal rights also. What are horizontal rights? At the same level, to a member of one, one person in against the community. For example, if we talk about Hindu society, we can talk about in Hindu society, which was governed by Manu Ismriti. Fine. So, all Hindus were not having equal rights in that community. Ambedkar called India's caste system as a system of graded inequality. So, that is why in India, people were given not only rights on individual basis, but also the collective basis. Normally, if you talk about constitutions, why should we have constitution? The idea of constitution is what? A rule book, which is meant for the governments to follow. And they should not be uh, transfers or they should not be violating that. They should not be crossing the boundary. Fine. So, normally, what is unique about India's constitutional experiment? The thing is, in other countries, the fundamental rights are only against the government. But in India, more than government, people have been given the fundamental rights against the society also. Because society is also a state and a very invisible state. And in India, human dignity was not challenged just by the state, rather by the society. Society was a bigger problem. Fine. So, India needed what? A social revolution by which we wanted to change the very structure of the society wherever we found that it goes against human dignity. So, our constitution departs from the pre-independence time more in terms of the horizontal distribution of power and less in terms of vertical distribution of power. Are you getting it? Vertical shabd hota hai man and a state ka or horizontal community ke basis par hum kar rahe. Theek hai. So, we have to understand. So, agar ye particular question I exam mein, that Indian constitution is essentially a charter, is essentially a social charter. Can you write, write apne question bank mein at karo se? और इन चीजों के ऊपर सोचना है, ठीक है? क्वेश्चन ये है कि वेदर इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज जस्ट अ पॉलिटिकल चार्टर और अ सोशल चार्टर in a more substantial sense. In a more substantial sense of the term. Fine. So, was it more of a political experiment or more of a social experiment which we were going to do? It was more of a social experiment Politically, we didn't do much experiments because we were more or less okay with the system of administration which Britishers have introduced. We wanted to bring the change, change in the sense colonial state was not accountable to the people. 
कॉलोनियल स्टेट वॉज अथॉरिटेरियन टाइप ऑफ स्टेट तो वी हैव टू डू लिटिल बिट रेट्रोफिटिंग ऑफ द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव स्ट्रक्चर बट वी हैव टू डू लॉट एज फार एज द सोशल स्ट्रक्चर इज कंसर्न एंड स्टिल वी आर नॉट वेरी सक्सेसफुल इन अचीविंग दैट पर्टिक्यूलर एम टू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बिफोर studying the constitution before studying anything we should have certain questions like what is a constitution what is its purpose what is the uniqueness of indian constitution what is special about it and india is itself a milestone in the global constitutionalism and its evolution because after india india has aspired many other countries of the world to go for looking at the constitutions as a social charter american constitution is not a social charter it is a political charter american revolution was a political revolution indian revolution throughout national movement there was a debate whether the social question is first or the political question for example for ambedkar jyotiba phule for ramaswami naikar social question was first for congress for especially tilak and other the political question was first is that clear so sometimes these type of questions you should also be prepared be prepared whether political priority or the debate between gokhale and the debate between tilak whether political should be given priority or the social and this this dialectics continued this this debate continued this debate continues even today for example the present government you can say they may not be so much interested as far as the social part is concerned fine right? they are more interested in the political aspect of the things so that varies from government to government and their ideologies so today social angle has become less important and today instead of a very strong entitlement based governance for the vulnerable section we are going for which philosophy of governance it is more about co-option of the people fine so you see the government is co-opting rather than going for you can say the people even when a system changes government has a role but society also has a role social movements have a role fine so if my question is whether people in india also shape the evolution of the constitutional process in india do they shape yes what is the means available with them how people shape through the elections but is election the only way for people to participate no we participate participate in some other ways also fine it can be through social movements it can be through the social protests fine for example uh, at times what is the difference in india and the rest of the world in other places in other places maybe government is more conservative fine whereas society is more modern and advanced but in india it may be the other way round fine it may happen that there have been times when supreme court had to backtrack many of its revolutionary judgments 
even high court had to backtrack and an environment for example on the same sex or this article 37 uh, sorry section 377 high court came up with the uh, more revolutionary judgment under justice shah but that judgment was later on changed by the supreme court because you require to create a conducive environment also fine so that a particular judgment can also be implemented so there are a lot of challenges that's why the study of indian constitution cannot be without understanding of indian society fine and normally there has been excessive focus when you study the constitution there has been excessive focus on understanding the historical background but understanding the social background is all the more important because the constituent assembly our constitution has been primarily a social charter our constitution is not just solving the problem of state and the rights of the individual but how to address class how to address caste how to address patriarchy fine and in comparison to other countries where state was a enemy indian state in the constitution has been visualized more as a enabler that's why if you see constitution of other countries in the topic of fundamental right there is not a provision in usa that a state shall make special or is allowed to make special provisions for the weaker sections or for sc st and obc there are enabling provisions so in indian society you have to understand that our constitution deviates from the other in many way for example here state is also seen state is seen more as a positive force rather than as a negative force when a state is seen as a positive institution enabler rather than threatening the rights of the people this is showing which philosophy this is showing the influence of which person who would like to keep a state minimum gandhi want to keep the state minimum who wanted to keep the state powerful in india nehru and are main gandhi ke opponent kon the ambedkar theek subhash chandra bose nahi ambedkar in terms of constitution so we hardly have elements of gandhian philosophy in the constitution but constitution is very much dominated by ambedkar's philosophy fine so if gandhi is called as father of nation ambedkar is father of constitution theek hai and during the freedom struggle gandhi's priority was political struggle and ambedkar's priority was social struggle so if the question isko kaise karoge usko bulao abhishek ko so if the question comes something like that where gandhi ends ambedkar begins can you write matlab at least kuch idea to hai to after independence we rejected gandhi fine and the ambedkar's approach or nehruvian approach they dominated the idea of the constitution fine so again let us come back to basics uh, i hope you are not confused you must not have thought like that ha huh? 
तुमने बहुत ऐसे सोचा होगा आर्टिकल वन इंडिया यूनियन टेरिटरी आर्टिकल टू नहीं ऐसे नहीं सोचना है यू हैव टू एक्चुअली वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सब्जेक्ट टू द कंडीशन यू हैव एन अप्रोच टू अंडरस्टैंड इट एंड यू विल लव नोइंग द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन यू विल लव अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ constitution has evolved how its structures how the relation the questions are not going to be simple the questions will be based on your deeper understanding of the things fine so anyway but we have to talk to the base uh, we have to first go for basics also so now my idea was that you understand the context in which every now and then we see some cji or the other talking about transformative transformative constitution theek hai to is constitution conservative is constitution transformative if transformative then in what sense of the term in a way every constitution is transformative why because you write transformation is what doing something new american constitution is also transformative but it is transformative in political sense of the term fine they didn't have problem in social sense they only had problem in political sense so india is transformative in political sense but that is less because not much was required but it is more transformative as far as the social sense of the term is concerned fine so we will also be preparing in a way that if a essay comes on transformative constitutionalism we should have enough content from background to theory to deal with that particular topic fine so idea was just to create which you can call in hindi a mahol have you understood the mahol for the next we which we are going to abhi hum thoda sa basics baat karte hain to fir se aise abhi filhal likho elements of state you go right as per modern principles states have four elements first right territory next people next government and sovereignty theek hai so this definition of a state is basically a definition of modern state so even in prelims they can ask when this modern state etc what is this to iske liye just ek fact likhte hain likho right the above definition of a state is the definition of modern state ठीक है अंडरलाइन कर दो मॉडर्न स्टेट तो मॉडर्न स्टेट इज अ वेस्टर्न इंस्टीट्यूशन प्रिलिम्स के लिए फैक्चुअल लिखो मॉडर्न स्टेट इज अ वेस्टर्न इंस्टीट्यूशन व्हिच बिगिन्स विद
ट्रीटी ऑफ वेस्ट फेलिया ट्रीटी ऑफ वेस्ट फेलिया डब्ल्यू ई एस टी पी एच ए एल आई ए ट्रीटी ऑफ वेस्ट फेलिया इन सिक्सटीन फोर्टी एट ठीक है नाउ इन इंटरनेशनल लॉ दिस इज जस्ट फ्रॉम प्रिलिम्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू फॉर डिफाइनिंग द मॉडर्न स्टेट देर आर टू थियरीज पहले सुन लो तो कैसी थियोरी है एक थियोरी को बोलते हैं कॉन्स्टिट्यूटिव थियोरी और दूसरे को बोलते हैं डिक्लरेटिव थियोरी ठीक है तो कॉन्स्टिट्यूटिव थियोरी में फॉर एग्जाम्पल जैसे दे कैन आस्क यू ये जो मॉन्टी वीडियो कन्वेंशन है जैसे क्वेश्चन आया था वो इसके ऊपर बेस्ड आया था ये ज्यादा प्रोमिनेंट है दिस इज सॉरी दिस इज कॉल्ड एज डिक्लरेटिव थियोरी Fine. That any state can declare its existence as a state if it has these features, and this was decided in 1933 by Monte Video Convention. But later on, constitutive theory started suggesting that it should also be a state will be regarded as a state only when it is recognized by the other states but it is not necessary fine so some follow this for example if we talk about kosovo so russia does not recognize but sorry russia recognize it as an independent state usa does not recognize so primarily these four features they have been considered or recognized in the monte video convention ठीक है तो बस यहां पर नोट करके लिखो लिखो राइट इन इंटरनेशनल लॉ मॉन्टी वीडियो कन्वेंशन ऑफ 1933 टॉक्स अबाउट the four elements defining a state bracket me likh do declarative theory next likho constitutive theory constitutive theory means where a state requires recognition by other states theek hai to normally मॉन्टी वीडियो कन्वेंशन वाला ही इनफ है इसी पर बेस करके क्वेश्चन करना है फाइन तो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडियन स्टेट और द बॉडी पॉलिटिक पॉलिटिकल बॉडी दैट इज इंडियन स्टेट हैविंग इट्स टेरिटरी तो पार्ट वन ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डील्स विथ यूनियन एंड इट्स टेरिटरीज Which also defines territorial waters, exclusive economic zone का भी उसका plus जो भी air space ये सब territory. Then part two of the constitution describes about the citizens, and part three deals with the fundamental rights. And fundamental rights put limitations on the state, but in India. it also gives some enabling powers to the state and then part 4 and then from part 6 onwards we see the system of government which is very very elaborate system of government so as far as the system of government is concerned we have adopted two fundamental principles first is federalism and the second is 
parliamentary form of government fine so this is how and then obviously the sovereignty thing is that clear to aise just likho thoda sa uh, just aise likho uh, organization of the constitution how constitution is organized ठीक है तो राइट इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हैज फॉलोइंग एलिमेंट्स ठीक है फर्स्ट इज राइट द फिलोसफिकल एलिमेंट्स इन फिलोसफिकल एलिमेंट वी हैव प्रियम्बल फंडामेंटल राइट्स एंड डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल्स अंडरलाइन कर दो प्रियम्बल या एरो करो प्रियम्बल से प्रियम्बल टेल्स द पर्पस फॉर पॉलिटिकल साइंस स्टूडेंट देर इज अ बेटर टर्म टीलियोलॉजी पर्पस आल्सो मींस टीलियोलॉजी टीलियोलॉजी हालांकि आपके एथिक्स में आता रहेगा टीलियोलॉजी टीलियोलॉजी का मतलब होता है परपस परपस ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डायलेक्टिक्स यहां पे तो डिबेट्स कह सकते हो जैसे इन हिंदी डायलेक्टिक्स मींस विरोध तो अंबेडकर एंड गांधी विरोध नेहरू एंड गांधी विरोध नेहरू एंड हिंदू महासभा विरोध ठीक है तो बड़ा डिबेटेबल था इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बना पाना इतना आसान था नहीं ठीक है क्योंकि इट हैड सो मेनी स्ट्रीम्स एंड वी वेयर टुगेदर ओनली विज अज ब्रिटिश बट आफ्टर दैट दो ओल्ड कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एंड फॉल्ट लाइन्स सो बेसिकली कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट असेंबली वॉज अ बैटल फील्ड constituent assembly was not a very easy the the making of indian constitution was not very easy it was very very extensive and because there were so much uh, divisions in the society for the purpose of legitimacy constituent assembly adopted the method that whatever they will except they will do by consent or by getting the consent so that legitimacy till consensus is not arrived at they didn't agree theek hai to indian constituent assembly ko padhna ek bahut hi matlab it is not just it is actually not the least important part of the topic it is the most important to understand many things because constituent assembly hardly discussed the political system there was a consensus on what type of form of government we will be having so the real importance of the constituent assembly debates is understanding the social debates what are the major debates which are still not fully resolved for example uniform civil code for example with respect to reservation and caste is that clear to jo best debates hain ya debates hi to reference hain is cheezon ko samajhne ka the best way to understand indian society critically uh, critical analysis of indian society to sabse acha jo critical analysis of indian society hai wo to constituent assembly mein hua hai theek hai 
तो सिर्फ एक ही जगह एक ही बहुत नैरो व्यू से नहीं पढ़ना है कि ड्राफ्टिंग कमेटी के हेड अंबेडकर थे वो तो सबको पता है वो क्वेश्चन में भी लिखा होगा प्रिलिम्स के ठीक है लेकिन उससे बियॉन्ड जाके उस चीज को समझना है क्या है आपकी सोच ही अलग होनी चाहिए फिलहाल वॉट वॉज द पॉइंट आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग टीलियोलॉजी तो एक तो फिलोसफिकल पार्ट है जिसमें प्रियम्बल जो है वो टीलियोलॉजी बताता है ठीक है और ये फिलोसफिकल पार्ट है या जो फंडामेंटल uh, राइट्स हैं ये बेसिकली पीपल से रिलेटेड हो गए ठीक है अब नेक्स्ट यू राइट स्ट्रक्चरल एलिमेंट्स स्ट्रक्चरल एलिमेंट्स में एक तो है फेडरलिज्म और हमारा फेडरलिज्म कैसा है इज इट टू सेंट्रलाइज्ड बहुत ज्यादा सेंट्रलाइज्ड है क्यों है रीजनल चैलेंजेस रीजनल चैलेंजेस एंड दिस फेडरलिज्म की अगर हम बात करें इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन की तो उसके दो वी कैन टॉक अबाउट टू यूनिक फीचर्स राइट इट डाउन इन टर्म्स ऑफ फेडरलिज्म टू यूनिक फीचर स्ट्रॉन्ग सेंटर वाई रीजनल चैलेंजेस स्ट्रॉन्ग सेंटर इज वन फीचर ऑफ वाई सो रीजनल चैलेंजेस नेक्स्ट इज ए सिमेट्रिकल फेडरलिज्म ए सिमेट्रिकल अगर मेरी बातें इतना समझ नहीं आ रही तो कल रोहित तुम इनको जिसमें भी आपको डाउट लगता है वर्ड्स में कोई लग रहा है नहीं समझ में आ रहा है, है? आपका लग रहा है लेकिन पहले आप ही को कह रहे यो यू यू आर गेटिंग इट अगर कल तक भूल जाएंगे तो रोहित सर से आप टर्म्स डिस्कस कर सकते हैं ठीक है दूसरा क्या है ए सिमेट्रिकल फेडरलिज्म ए सिमेट्रिकल फेडरलिज्म इज वॉट वी वॉन्ट different there are different provisions for different areas special state provisions hai fifth schedule hai sixth schedule hai why why asymmetrical what challenge we wanted to address diversity asymmetrical reason is diversity fine तो इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर वी एडॉप्टेड फेडरलिज्म जो उसको समझना बहुत कोर है अपने लिए और सेकेंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट राइट फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट तो विच फॉर्म ऑफ जस्ट लेट मी टेल मी विच फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट वी हैव एडॉप्टेड फॉर पार्लियम फॉर यूनियन एंड स्टेट पार्लियामेंट्री फॉर्म वॉट अबाउट पंचायत Which form of government in panchayats, municipalities? Direct तो ठीक है Is it present? अरे जब parliament का comparison होता है तो वो direct indirect से नहीं हो सकता पहले तो ये भी पता होना चाहिए कि किसका comparison किससे आप कर सकते हो तो panchayats में कौन सा model ज्यादा चल रहा है Presidential हालांकि states had a freedom, ठीक है तो पंचायत से वी वॉन्टेड टू ब्रिंग सम चेंज दैट वॉज अ चेंज दैट हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड वेरी स्मार्टली एंड इन अ वे दैट पीपुल डू नॉट इवन नोटिस फाइन एंड देयर हैव बीन रीजन वाई वी हैव लेफ्ट द सिस्टम देर इज नो इट्स नॉट नेसेसरली अ पार्लियामेंट्री सिस्टम बिकॉज when this when panchayati raj came into existence 90s it was a era of which coalition it was an era of coalition 
coalition means instability parliamentary form of government what is the basic problem instability right so what we want is presidential system to come in future in theory also in practice it is always there fine to aise bahut sare changes hote hain jo public ko nahi bataya jate kyun lekin ek mahol banaya jata hai jaise maine nahi bataya ki main ye sab kyun bol rahi hu i was creating a mahol theek hai aise hi sarkar bhi mahol banati hai judiciary bhi mahol banati hai jisse ki रेजिस्टेंस कम हो और लोगों को बहुत नेचुरली लगे कि ये नेचुरल है चीजें ठीक है तो पहले मोर और लेस वी हैव गॉन फॉर विच फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट पार्लियामेंट्री फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट लिखा आपने फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट हमने पार्लियामेंट्री बना दी वाई व्हाट इज द लॉजिक वाई also because of uh, you can say it is more accountable ek to accountable hota hai lekin humne kyun adopt kiya ek to hamara thoda experience tha pardon ha ek to british experiment bhi tha lekin parliamentary form of government because we didn't want presidential form of government fine why because presidential form of government will always give rise to majoritarianism whereas parliamentary form of government because of collective responsibility you have a very natural course towards coalition governments theoretically they are considered to be more democratic theek hai to filhal Uh, हमने क्या लिखा है पार्लियामेंट्री सिस्टम और मेन रीजन क्या है जैसे तुम लोगों को पता होगा कि ब्रिटिश ने इंट्रोड्यूस किया और हमें ब्रिटिश काफी पसंद थे तो हमने ब्रिटिश वाला रख लिया इतना ही लॉजिक होगा तुम्हारा हाँ बट लॉजिक ये है कि डेमोक्रेसी को हमको कॉन्सोसिएशनल की ओर ले जाना था कंसेंसस बनाना था पार्लियामेंट्री सिस्टम में काम करना मुश्किल है प्रेसिडेंशियल सिस्टम इज अ वन मैन शो इट इज इजी टू वर्क इन अ प्रेसिडेंशियल सिस्टम नाउ इट अप इट इज अप टू यू शुड इंडिया बी शिफ्टिंग फ्रॉम पार्लियामेंट्री टू प्रेसिडेंशियल इतना आसान थोड़ी आंसर कभी देने नहीं है जब भी पूछा जाए तुमसे जब तक क्लास चल रहा है तो होना चाहिए आई विल थिंक एंड टेल यस नो क्या ऐसे ही थोड़ी आंसर दे दोगे क्या या सोच के रखा है सब यू हैव ऑल द आर्ग्यूमेंट्स वाई क्यों ओके ठीक है हमारा सिस्टम कौन सा है पार्लियामेंट्री फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट इसका रीजन लिखो वाई तो दोनों कंबाइन करके लिख देते हैं बाद में वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द प्रिंसिपल ठीक है लेकिन अभी एक ब्रॉड आइडिया ये है बिकॉज प्रेसिडेंशियल फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट लीड्स टू मेजोरिटेरियनिज्म ओके मेजोरिटेरियनिज्म ठीक है तो अभी बातें किस चीज की चल रही हैं टू शिफ्ट टूवर्ड्स प्रेसिडेंशियल तो इंडिया में इफ यू सी द कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट असेंबली डिबेट्स आपका पॉलिटिकल साइंस में टॉपिक है सोशल एंड पॉलिटिकल परस्पेक्टिव्स तो जो भी हिंदू राइटिस्ट ग्रुप थे दे ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड प्रेसिडेंशियल फॉर्म ऑफ government because hindus are in majority and we don't have to take care of the others ideally problem kya hai india has a parliamentary system but 
we have adopted majoritarian system, but we should have adopted proportional representation. That makes democracy representative. ये सब ऐसे कुछ डर लग रहा है जिनका जिन्होंने कभी नहीं सुना कि क्या मैं बता रही ऐसे तो YouTube पे कभी सुना नहीं था YouTube के स्टार टीचर तो कुछ और ही बताते हैं ऐसे कुछ तो नहीं लग रहा है आई होप देर इज नो क्राइसिस ऑफ लेजिटमेसी मैम थोड़ा YouTube जैसा कैसे नहीं पढ़ा रही है अच्छा पढ़ा मतलब वो मत सोच के कि ये तो हमने कभी सुना नहीं मत पहले क्वेश्चन होने चाहिए और पहले कंफ्यूजन होने चाहिए पहले ये तो पता चले कि हमें क्या नहीं पता है और कहा हमको समझना है ठीक है चलो फिलहाल नेक्स्ट क्या है ये मेजोरिट दिमाग लगाना कि क्यों कैसे सर्च करो ठीक है तो यू हैव दिस फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट भी हो गया वॉट एल्स इज रिमेनिंग वी हैव अ स्ट्रक्चरल पार्ट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वी हैव डिस्कस द फिलोसफिकल पार्ट ठीक है नाउ बिकॉज देयर आर पॉलिटिकल साइंस स्टूडेंट्स आई वॉन्ट टू रिलेट वन थिंग दैट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन फाइन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन who is known as father of constitutions constitutionalism um, uh, aristotle theek hai and aristotle has given the theory of constitution that which whether it is india or anyone fine any country you will always start constitutionalism by theory of aristotle and it makes sense to understand what aristotle is saying so even those who are not from political science is still you right to understand it theek hai to ek subheading likho aristotle on constitutions तो एरिस्टोटल के रिगार्डिंग एरिस्टोटल इवन इफ यू डोंट हैव पॉलिटिकल साइंस एथिक्स तो है ही तुम्हारे पास ठीक है तो एरिस्टोटल के बारे में एक चीज लिख दो फादर ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनलिज्म ओके नाउ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनलिज्म मींस पहले समझो गवर्नमेंट शुड बी अकॉर्डिंग टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इफ गवर्नमेंट डजेंट हैव टू बी अकॉर्डिंग टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वाई डू यू रिक्वायर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ठीक है तो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनलिज्म मींस गवर्नमेंट शुड रन अकॉर्डिंग टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट मींस गवर्नमेंट हैज फ्रीडम टू डू वट इट वॉन्ट्स नो अगर फ्रीडम नहीं है तो गवर्नमेंट हैज लिमिटेशंस तो इस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनलिज्म एंड लिमिटेड गवर्नमेंट इज वन एंड द सेम थिंग फाइन तो एरिस्टोटल इज नोन एज फादर ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनलिज्म कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनलिज्म मींस लिमिटेड गवर्नमेंट लिमिटेड गवर्नमेंट मींस विच कैन नॉट एक्ट which is which cannot act in a arbitrary manner which cannot act in a arbitrary manner theek hai to government should be in accordance government should rule according to the constitution means the fundamental law government should not act in an arbitrary manner so basically constitution is a check on government likho right aise likho is constitution a check on government
आंसर इज यस बिकॉज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज द फंडामेंटल लॉ एंड गवर्नमेंट शुड बी एक्टिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू इट If my simple question is, why can't we leave government free to act, whatever it wants? Yes, because with power comes corruption. Fine. So the yes. So if you have a government, your purpose is to have good government. Your purpose is not to have corrupt government. Fine. So. is constitutionalism and good governance almost interdependent fine so if there is not a constitutionalism can there be a good government kyu nahi aise thodi hota hai ki maan lo ram chand ji aa jaye ram raj aa jaye theek hai to wo apne dimag se maan lo chal rahe ho to koi zaruri ki acha sarkar nahi hogi तो आंसर हमेशा होता है हमेशा सोचो देयर कैन ऑलवेज बी एक्सेप्शन कोई इंसान के रूप में देवता ही पैदा हो जाए तो हो सकता है लेकिन इंसान के रूप में देवता पैदा होने के चांसेस कम होते हैं तो इस चक्कर में नहीं पड़ना है लेकिन जरूरी नहीं है ठीक है इन टर्म्स ऑफ गवर्नेंस विच इज बेटर इंडिया और चाइना अरे नेवर गिव it can never be yes and no it is all contextual china may have done well on certain things but india has its own strength and weaknesses to today upi china wala chal raha hai duniya mein nahi chal raha to aise kyu keh rahe ho ki bas china hi iska matlab hai jaise hi socha apni soch ko counter khud karna hai pehle ठीक है और हमेशा उसमें क्या दिया है बैलेंस जजमेंट इसलिए मैंने कल चीजें बताई थी कि उसको रीड करो हमेशा चीजें कॉन्टेक्शुअल हैं चाइना मे हैव डन वेल एज फार एज स्टीलिंग द टेक्नोलॉजी इज कंसर्न ठीक है दे आर गुड एट स्टीलिंग द थिंग्स फाइन तो यू कैन से सो एंड वी आर गुड एट डेवलपिंग द इंडिजिनस टेक्नोलॉजी तो वी मे बी लेट कमर्स दे मे बी फास्ट बट चोरी में अच्छे हैं चोरी करना ज्यादा अच्छा आता है मतलब तुम्हें पता ना आना चाहिए यू हैव टू मेक योर केस कि भाई तुम अच्छे हो चोरी अच्छी कर लेते हो सफाई से करते हो ऊपर से उससे भी करते हो वो अलग चीज है यू कॉन्ट सिंपली से चाइना इज बेटर फाइन तो हमारे दिमाग में जो क्वेश्चन आ रहे हैं हमको खुद को क्वेश्चन करना है दैट इज द ओनली वे and you have to think can there be an alternative perspective to it theek hai can it be something different than what i am thinking is there a scope to it okay so basically limited government because in general we assume that otherwise they will go corrupt so he gives the concept of constitutionalism or limited government fine so in political science there are two political philosophy starts with the debate between plato and aristotle so plato says rule of a person and give him unlimited powers but select a philosopher or a ram or some ideal man but aristotle says that we can't get it fine so let's not run after what is best go for what is best practicable thing so aristotle's idea of constitutionalism at constitutionalism comes from aristotle's idea but does indian constitutionalism exactly matches to aristotle's idea of constitutionalism no because 
our constitutionalism is not just limiting the power of government rather we are also enabling the government we are exercising more constitutionalism against our society which has been more despotic in india than the state theek hai to is constitutionalism wo honge father lekin hum unke सगे बच्चे थोड़ी हैं, ठीक है हमारे फादर कोई और भी हैं, एरिस्टोटल है लेकिन एरिस्टोटल फिर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनलिज्म क्या इंडियन आइडिया ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनलिज्म एग्जैक्टली द एरिस्टोटेलियन आइडिया इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट बट स्टिल वी हैव आवर ओन आइडिया ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनलिज्म ठीक है एक और एक और चीज लिखो राइट देखो एरिस्टोटल हैज ऑल्सो गिवेन the theory of four causes that we will do tomorrow i don't think you will understand <laughs> i believe you must be enough confused agar maine confusion create kiya then i believe ki i have done justice with my work i have confused you ha huh? theek hai तो अब तुम जा करके थोड़ा मेंटल एक्सरसाइज करो कि जो मैंने बताया है क्या आर यू एबल टू रिमेंबर दैट ठीक है सो टुमारो विल कंटिन्यू विद दिस बाकी दे केम इन द मॉर्निंग ओके कीप ऑन कमिंग